Hi, I'm Max from the CWB. I'm Daniela. And today we're going to be talking about the age-old battle of push versus pull in GMAW. One of the biggest issues in welding is always the discussion of what is the better type of weld, to push MIG or to pull it. And today, Daniela and I are going to get to the bottom of it. Fart. When we talk about pull versus push, we're looking at different ways of laying the welding. When you look at the center of your body, if you're going towards the center or pushing the weld, that's a forehand weld. Now that's generally flatter and prettier. When you're pulling away from the center of your body, that's a pull weld or a backhand. When you push, you have a flatter surface, and when you pull, you get more penetration. In today's exercise, we're gonna break this into a couple different ways. Daniela's gonna be the pull welder, I'm gonna be the push welder. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay a number of beads down on T-joints. On one side of the T-joint, we're gonna do a single pass. On the other side of the T-joint, we're gonna do a multi-pass, three-layer weld. Once we do that, we're gonna look at them visually and see what the differences are and how we can tell between a push and a pull weld. After that, we're gonna cut them into pieces and macro etch them and really see what the difference is in penetration. Once we have seen that, we can really break down afterwards what is the benefit and what are the disadvantages of both pull and push. When we set up for pull versus push, this is at zero degrees. If we're gonna be pushing the weld, I'll be going five to 15 degrees and pushing the weld this way. If I'm going to be pulling the weld, I will be five to 15 degrees like this and pulling it this way. Zero being dead on. Round one. When welding with the pulling method, it's sometimes a little hard to see where you're going. A little trick that I like to use is soapstone. Draw a line so you know where you need to go with your weld. Round two. So you can see in my weld here that it came out nice and flat. My top edge is nice and clean. My bottom is a little wavy, which happens when you push sometimes, but I got a nice flat top surface. On the three pass, you can see they all went in nice and clean. One of the telltale signs of a push is that you'll see that nice seam right down the center of the weld. Nice and flat, nice triangular shape, nice clean welds. So visually looking at my weld using the pulling method, as you can tell, my top edge here is a little bit rough. Um, I've got some more spatter. My weld bead has a bit more of a rounded look to it. It's not as flat as I would like it to be. As you can see from the welds, it would appear that I'm the clear Fight. winner. Push has a nice clean top, less spatter, flat weld. But there's only one way to know which one's actually better, and that's to the saw. Well, we finished cutting the plates and we vexed them. When we started, we were wondering what were the benefits and disadvantages of pushing and pulling. 
So I pushed mine in and you can see that I got some nice clean welds, nice flat top surfaces, but I got very limited penetration. And with my weld, overall, I got more penetration, but my weld was very convex. So you can see from the side cut of my weld after we etched it, I've marked it out with the marker so it's more clear to see. Tops of my welds are nice and flat, making for a nice, smooth, pretty weld. But the penetration is quite limited. Now there is enough penetration. This is a good weld. It is gonna pass and it's gonna be good enough for most of the things you need to do. So looking at the side view of my single pass here, you can see I got very good deep penetration. Over here on my multi-pass though, you can see that my weld isn't flat and it's very convex. So at the end of our battle, we have to decide who won. And really at the end of the day, it comes down to what you're welding. For instance, with a push weld, I would say it's better for thinner materials, materials that are visible to the public. If you want your welds to be pretty and they're out there and they're out there for everyone to see, push might be what you need to do. And with the benefits of the pulling method, as you can see, I got deeper penetration, which means it's best for thicker material and we really want a strong weld. Well, as you can see, after a day of welding, cutting and etching, who wins? I don't know if there's a clear winner. I think I won, sorry. But... Well, mine's prettier. Mine's stronger. I'm taller. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thanks for joining Danielle and I today during this weld challenge of push versus pull. We had a lot of fun welding, and I don't know, Daniela, do you think there was a clear winner? Definitely me. Well, we'll have to debate, and the debate goes on. So everybody out there, thanks for being with us. Keep welding, and figure it out for yourself. Get in your garages, try it out at work, and see who wins in your shop.